This is Ian Prudy from the Retro Computer Shack. In this video I'll show you how to connect an Amstrad CPC 464 to a TV via the SCART input using my RGB SCART lead which connects the video out from the Amstrad to the SCART input on the TV. This lead is only for the Amstrad CPC 464 computer and the Amstrad CPC 6128 computer, which is the one with the disk drive built in. Um, the 6128 CPC, what 6128, needs an additional power supply, so I'll do a separate video for that, but the cable's the same. This one, we'll just have a look at the 464. Now, the Amstrad computers used to take the power from the monitors that were sold with the computers. So if you want to connect it to a TV, you'll have to uh, supply an additional power supply. I don't sell these, but they're very easy to find. And this lead is really aimed at the more um, experienced user. So if you're not sure about uh, supplying an additional power supply, uh, please don't buy my SCART lead. But if you have a look on eBay, you'll find other sellers selling their version of the SCART lead with a power supply. Um, the power supplies I tend to use, uh, well, are a wide range, but this one works perfectly good, Proelec. Uh, this one is rated at 3 amps D DC, 5 volts. Uh, you only need anything from about 2 amps upwards really. I recommend 2.4 upwards. Uh, that's the power supply and I've had no problems with these. They seem very good quality. The barrel, the plug size, the DC power plug, is a 2.1 millimeter by 5.5 millimeter with a 10 millimeter length barrel, which is pretty much standard. Okay, so let's uh, connect everything up. So the SCART lead design on this one is um, is quite different uh, to mo most of my SCART leads, as I mentioned. Um, you need to plug the power supply into the power in on the SCART lead. The power plug then feeds the power into the Amstrad, and then as a separate lead with a stereo jack on the N3.5, which is to feed the sound into the SCART lead so it comes out of the TV, which means you can then turn the volume down on the Amstrad, which is on the side. Right, so connect the DIM plug to the monitor socket. Take that out, we don't need it. Uh, monitor socket on the computer. Collect, connect the uh, power plug from the SCART lead into the DC power socket on the Amstrad. Then connect the stereo sound lead to the sound in output, or the I.O. output it is, on the CPC. And we'll turn that round. Oh, I'm also going to connect this M4 board which basically is an SD storage device, which just allows me to load a program up much more quickly. Right, so that just leaves a socket for the power supply on the SCART lead. So we need to plug the external power supply, which I don't supply. 5 volt DC, 2.4 amps upwards. Okay, so I shall just bring that up a little bit and switch that light out. All right, so if we um, switch the TV on, that should sort itself out once it's got a picture. Select the SCART input on the TV. On this one, the SCART input is uh, labelled as EXT. Then we need to switch the Amstrad CPC on. And hopefully we should get a good picture, which we have. I'll just zoom in a little bit on that, so you can get a little bit of idea of the quality. You should get a, a, a nice, clear, steady picture with uh, vivid colours. I'm just going to load a game up quickly rather than uh, load it in from tape so this is a bit different than what you'll do and 
and then we just need to run Chucky hopefully and there we go I'll just uh, set those so we can just run it and then you can hear the sound as well so start it one turn the sound up a little bit And as you can see, you get, uh, let me switch that light out so you can see the picture maybe a little bit better. And sound, sound comes from the TV. So that's about it for that one. And don't forget, that's only for the CPC 464. Uh, if you get any problems, uh, my general troubleshooting guide, I'll leave a link for below the video in the YouTube uh, channel as well. Well, that's about it for that one. Uh, thanks for watching. I do hope you find that useful. And that's bye from me.